el chisme. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Cheese Report. I'm your host Danny Flores. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, that little bell right next to it. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to like and comment down below. Guys, what's good? Welcome back to a brand new Cheese Report. Today's report is actually brought to you by Landon McBroom because last night he posted up some pictures on his Instagram story and he left all of us confused. Also, we're going to be talking about stories that happened during the week, guys. But before we get into it, go get your snacks, come back, sit back and relax. All right, guys, so for our first story of the day, we're just going to get this over with because a lot of people are concerned that Landon has been posting some weird things on his Instagram. And one of the pictures said this. You have two parents that love you. I am happy. And this one was not really weird to me because obviously parents have to love their kid. But the second one he posted was all you'll ever know is love weird and it left people confusing talking about oh Shyla and Lennon are back together what and no they're not back together just because he posted a picture an old picture of the family together doesn't mean they're getting back together this means that he's happy that his daughter is loved by everyone especially Shyla and Landon but I do think that maybe you know Shyla and Landon are being civil now maybe there's no more drama maybe they fixed everything's behind the scenes behind camera because we all know everything was getting nasty to this point but I do believe their next core date is November 1st, guys, so stay tuned for that. You all want to know what's going to go down. In my opinion, I feel like everything's done. Like, the whole dirt will spill on each other, and they're just going to be civil about it and just be adults about this whole situation and be co-parenting as good as they can. That's honestly the best thing they could do for So, for their daughter. If she grew up in that environment, in that toxic environment, and then she might be rejecting others, you know, such as maybe Shyla, such as Landon. Let me know your opinion down below about this whole landing taking out a picture of the family on his instagram story because many of you guys were confused many of you guys were mad responding to me saying oh my god i can't believe they're back together no th that's a big speculation guys i don't think they're back together they're just co-parenting being civil for so late. okay guys so i know there hasn't been much drama lately in the community but i do and i want to talk about other youtubers not just what we watch but other people so you could get to know them and basically I like to watch these people sometimes. So we're going to be talking about other stories other than the people I've been talking about lately. I don't know if you guys know this YouTuber by the name of Keemstar, but basically Keemstar has a channel called Drama Alert and he does report the news, but he does have, you know, haters, a lot of haters. I'm not a big fan of his. Um, I don't hate him, but at the same time, I don't like him. But basically what happened, guys, I'm not going to go into what he is right now in this video, but yesterday he actually tweeted out a a tweet that you know said he was retiring and it was like shocking to many others and to his enemy h3h3 he actually took it as a you know joke but at the same time he applauded him for like saying oh yay finally you're out the internet but we all know keemstar likes to troll like he trolls everyone his whole fan base i know a lot of people think i'm trolling a lot of people think it's just bait that i'm retiring but I am retiring. I know I've said a million times that I'm never leaving the internet, that I'm never retiring, but I really am retiring. Um, I'm going to have a statement today on Drama Alert to talk about it briefly. Um, you know, things need to be explained, right? Like why I'm leaving, uh, what's gonna happen to the future of Drama Alert, uh, you know, what I'm going to do in retirement, all that. I, I know some people are very happy and excited to see my ass go. Congrats to you. <laughs> um, and I know others will be sad. Um, but you know, 13 years, uh, January next year will be 14 years. It's about a long time. And, uh, I started my YouTube career when I was like 27, it's late to get into the game. So, um, yeah. So a lot of people are speculating that this is just a troll. He's not going to be retiring from YouTube because he had said that, you know, YouTube is his life. He loves doing what he does. He's not going to let the haters just come after him because of what he says or what he does on the internet. But Keemstar does have this, you know, going, retiring, and then coming back, hiring someone else to do drama alert. And then like six months later, he comes back and starts, you know, making videos for us once again. This time, there's another feeling to it. It seems genuine 
in but star even though he has over 5 million subscribers he does seem to not get as many views anymore but like, don't get me wrong as for me 500,000 views is a lot of views in one video that's a lot of views but keem starts saying you know youtube is broken blah 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 youtube's not the same anymore maybe that's why he's gonna retire we don't know the situation but tomorrow he does say or today actually that you're watching this he is gonna come out with his retirement statement on youtube on drama alert so maybe by the time this video is out you guys will see the drama alert talking about oh i'm retiring keem starts retiring so just keep an eye out and check what he has to say Okay, so this is not really drama related, but I do want to bring it up because it's a nice thing. So I want to say like a feel good moment. So we all know the series Fast and the Furious. We know Vin Diesel. We know Paul Walker. So basically, Paul Walker's kid, Paul Walker's daughter actually got married over the weekend and Vin Diesel actually walked her down the aisle, which I thought was super awesome, was super cool. Vin Diesel and Paul Walker were actually good friends with the whole movie series and then for Vin Diesel to walk you know Paul Walker's daughter down the aisle because we all know Paul Walker did pass away a few years ago I don't know it's just a feel-good moment for the situation for the wedding for the daughter to have her dad's best friend walk her down the aisle when her dad can't I just thought this was really amazing guys because I'm a big fan of the whole you know Fast and the Furious but guys this is gonna be the end of the Cheeseman Report hopefully you guys like this different episode this type of you know news because honestly if you guys like it I'll come out with more of these type of stories plus I do want to start like uh, not a podcast but longer form content me just talking to you guys talking to the camera and not have to worry about you know editing as much just you know speaking my mind maybe like a little 30 minute show I don't know guys let me know what your opinions are about that down below in the comments and if you guys have any videos or anything you guys want me to react let me know because I'll be doing more of that in the longer form videos, longer form content. And so let me know down below, DM me, whatever, guys. This is going to be it for the Cheese May Report today. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. And if you're new here, do all that good stuff. Subscribe, like the video, comment down below, guys. But other than that, my name's Danny, and I'm out. Peace.